Hi guys. Okay, so where were we last? Let me see. Scroll down to pattern focus to find the pattern for the day. Let's see, we just did Y hex. So let's do this one called Yurt. This one's by Nicole. It's a newer pattern, 2018. Um, it's sort of a... Uh, she did it here in a mandala-like fashion. Right there. Isn't that pretty? Looks like she did watercolors in the inside of there. Really pretty. Um, so your, your main... Uh, shape is going to be a leaf or petal or bracket type shape, which is this one. You, you need some sort of base. doesn't have to be straight. Clearly, you can put it on a round or whatever. But you're going to want to make this sort of a bracket and do them in a line until you have however many of them that you want to use. Then you're going to aura them on the inside. And then we're going to make like a V here. And then we're going to make another like a V there. So it's a tall skinny one and a short fat one. So we separate that into uh, one, two, three, four, five sections, right? And then from that, we're going to put a little, um, we're going to put a little line weight right there, kind of curve that, that end so it looks like that. And then we can put these little lines in there. And that's the, the shape. And then connect them together by doing another little arch with a aura and a little bit of those same lines echoing that so it looks like this so that's that's the the look we're headed for um let's just play with it and see what happens i'm going to turn my light on so everybody close your eyes goodness sakes okay Ah, it's been a couple, interesting couple of days. I thought I was going to turn off my video from uh, the last one I did and be back the very next day, and that's not what happened. So it's been a couple of days. Um, let's see, I was drawing on... I drew on Monday. And today's Thursday. <laughs> I thought I was going to draw again on Tuesday, but... Nope. I'm trying to decide while I'm, while I'm chatting with you. The reason I'm chatting and not drawing is I'm trying, just trying to decide how I want to lay out. Do I... I could do a, a circular pattern, which I think looks really cool. But I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking, well, first off, I want to make a border so I don't get too close to my edge. Just give me a stop and spot. I'm actually thinking, what if we did it in a spiral? No, 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 not that. Okay, don't like that. I'm already unhappy. So I don't want to be unhappy, right? Ooh, what was that? Okay. I'm going to do like that as my string. Let's see what happens. 
I'm going to um, not draw that bottom line just yet. I'm going to start with my bracket shapes. And I think I'm going to do them this way. I, I tend to want to draw them like this, but I want to go this direction with my my swirl. Do I? Can I start here? Okay. I'm just talking to myself. I have no idea what I'm doing. And now I've already changed my mind and decided I'm going to put the line. At first I wasn't going to. I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to just going to start right here with a bracket like shape. Like that. So yeah, I was saying that, that my day didn't go quite the way I had anticipated. Um, I, had, I did end up cleaning up this, this room that I'm in. You wouldn't know it by looking at it, but I really did. I cleaned up quite a bit and I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six empty, seven empty um like plastic containers um and some of the stuff that was just laying around uh got put into containers and the stuff that was in containers got thrown away um i actually got a lot of cleaning done um i probably made with my trash can i probably made six or eight trips out to the to the barrel so I did I did good. I got a lot cleaned up. Um and then then I found out that my manager at work uh you know she's new. You if you guys um are our regular followers you'd know that that it hasn't been that long since I got a new manager and I looked it up it's actually only been five weeks um yeah got to work on Tuesday after I did all my cleaning and found that um that they have already transferring my new manager to another store so that's sad I'm gonna zoom you in just a little so I'm just aura aura in this shape we were just getting used to her we really like her so I'm going to have another new manager starting, um, yesterday was, was my manager's last day. Uh, the new manager won't start for a week because this current manager had already written the schedule, um, with her on vacation. So everybody, uh, has taken the hours that, that would be used. So she has to wait. The new manager has to wait to start. Uh, okay. So this is going to have a V and then like that. And you're going to just do these little like that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the little lines in there as well. As I get bigger, they'll they'll feel better. They kind of feel really tight, but I think that's just because these are so small. This. Yes. 
That's pretty, huh? I like it. So far, so good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be happy with this when I'm done, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so, so there was that. And then, and then yesterday I worked a, a, an early shift. My manager had asked me to come in early, so I couldn't draw yesterday. And so here I am today, and I was going to do it earlier this morning. But when my husband got home from uh, church last night, he discovered that he had some sort of coolant leak. And so he looked at it, and, and yeah, things were spraying everywhere. So one of our friends uh, came and helped me get the car over to the mechanics. This morning I got up and took my husband to work, and then we got the car to the mechanics, and, um, yeah. It's not one thing, it's another, right? I like this. This is easy to do. You don't have to think really hard. And the weather has turned cold again. Um, just a couple of, was it a week ago? No, close to two weeks ago, I guess. A week and a half ago, it was like 90 degrees. And today the high is like 40 something. It's cold. Matter of fact, that reminds me, I've got a blanket here I can put on my lap because I'm a bit chilly. Oh, that's better. Really didn't want to turn the heater on. I will if I have to. I probably will because the house is going to be too cold for my husband when he gets home from work. But I don't like to, I don't like to heat up the whole house just for me. This, this room does have a mini split system in it, which means that we have a, a heater and air conditioner just kind of free standing kind of a thing. I mean, it's not free standing, but it's only for this room. It's a single room one, kind of like you would find at a hotel. Um, we've got one of those in here, so... I could turn on the heat just in this room and be a little more comfortable, which I may end up doing. You see how it looks a little different based on, see these were skinnier and these are fatter. And this, this part here looks a little different, even though it's all the same, it looks different. been watching more of Melinda Barlow's um, videos. I've noticed that, I, I believe she retired uh, not too long ago. So her number of videos that she is posting has increased. She does such a great job. Her style is so totally different than mine, but I wa love to watch hers. I love to watch um, Alexandra Diaz. Um, she's artsy fartsy. Um, I like watching her. I like watching, um, Laura Harms. Um, she's, I am the diva. I like watching all of them. Um, there's an Mimi, uh, I think it's Mimi XY. Uh, and... There's, um, who else do I watch? Oh, Ellen Walters. 
for sure. Ellen Walters, too. And, um... Alina Light. I like Alina Light. She has some some beautiful videos. She draws stunning stuff. And then I think every so often we'll get there will be one from I don't remember her name, but her 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 art name is is a little lime. I don't remember her name. Ugh, I don't remember. I like those too. Why can't I remember her name? Anyway, I'm happy to shout out uh, various other YouTubers. I'm not, I'm not in the YouTube hoarding business. I think everybody has enough watching time to watch other lots of different people. Look at how pretty that is. That's pretty. Okay. So then in between here, we're going to go like that and like that. My husband hurt his knee the other day, too. So, hoping that heals really well. Can't, can't ride his bike when his knee hurts. So I guess it's just as well that it's cold and gloomy out. It rained a little bit this morning. It, it didn't rain for very long. And then it got really sunny, and now it's getting really cold and gloomy again. So, who knows what's happening the weather. Okay. That's really, really pretty. Oh, I like it a lot. I think I want to do something along this line to make it a little more weighted. But I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I think I just want a bigger... Let me get my bigger pen. Yes, I know I'm going a little bit away from my line. Because I want a little line weight. So some of it's going to be a little bit fatter than others. And I'm just going to come back and fill that in. Contractors here today. They're still cleaning up their stuff. They had a lot of stuff here. Um, he's uh, washing down the wall. He's 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 actually taking a hose and a brush and scrubbing every last brick on the whole wall. That's pretty amazing stuff. They take super duper pride in their work. So that's good. They still have a lot of stuff in our backyard to clean up. Oh, that's super pretty. It looks like a piece of like lace that's, you know, like a piece of lace trim. That's pretty. I think I want
yeah, needed that. I'm going to leave it just like that and call it done. Um, let's do a little shading. I need, to, I need to sharpen my pencil real quick here. Excuse me. Um, here. I'm going to start with shading here. along here let's start with that that I think I want You'll see that I didn't put that right up against, I put the pencil out a little further from the line. And even though I've kind of smudged it up into that line, see how having this space here makes it look like this is now floating uh, above here. It's like, a, it, it just gives it a different look. I like it. deciding if I need any any kind of shading over there I don't think so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of white pencil though need to, need to sharpen this I found a whole big box of colored pencils in my in my uh, closet when I was cleaning up Color pencils never go bad. They're a delightful art supply. And actually, I think some of the older ones are almost better as an art material. Apparently, the same company that Prismacolor is, used to be uh, Sanford or Barrel, B-E-R-O-L. Uh, they've kind of all merged into one, which is now Prismacolor. 
Um, so if you have the old Sanford color pencils from the you know, 60s and 70s, they are as good a quality as, as a Prismacolor from what I understand. Now I haven't done any you know, exact research and science or anything on this. I found this from from a YouTube video that said something about um, you know, had one of those clickbaity uh, titles like are prism colors a scam or something like that. Um, and he did he did the the pigment tests and the and all the tests on using the older color pencils and the new color pencils and of course um, new non uh, Prismacolor the the cheaper ones from you know. Various places. They are not as good. The Prismacolors are a very good pencil. But, you know, if you have one of the older ones, don't throw them away. Color pencils last forever until you've, until you've sharpened them down to a point where you can't hold on to them anymore. And even then, apparently you can buy a little pencil holder thingy that holds the little nub that you have managed to sharpen it down to. So until you've got it down, sharpened down till you can't sharpen it anymore, pencils are still good. This was called Yurt. And which way do I want it to live? I think I want it to live. There we go. I want it to live like that. That's really pretty. Thank you, Nicole, for such a pretty pattern. I'm I'm happy with this one. Uh, of course, you know me. I like the organic patterns. They're they're delightful. Okay, you guys have a really great day. Uh, I will see you later. It is so dang cold. I'm gonna turn on the heater, and I'll be back to record the next uh, the next one. And um, yeah. You guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for somebody today. Um, make the world a better place. And I will see you later. Bye.